The first and the second part of Infamous was set in fictional cities, and uh, the, now we have uh, Seattle. Why this time decide to, to set the game in real city? We wanted to make the environment as totally believable as possible, so that when you're on the street you thought, oh yeah, this, this is real. And um, it just made sense to quit goofing around and just say, yeah, we're making Seattle. Sucker Punch is actually located just out of Seattle. I live there. Um, we knew that we could go into town, take photographs, record the sounds of birds and trees. Uh, and as a result, you believe it in the game. And that foundation of reality is what we wanted so that when we give you these supernatural abilities, you would believe that those are real too. Yeah, yeah. and uh, how much layout of Seattle is uh, we, can, we can find in the game? Uh, we see the Space Needle. Yeah. Yes, it's um, any more famous building in Seattle? Also? Yes, yeah. Well, well um, when in recreating Seattle, uh, we went and found a lot of uh, landmarks like this Space Needle, mm -hmm. as well as um, local businesses like uh, there's a, a rock venue called the Crocodile or um, record stores. Restaurants, all the things that if you've been there, you'll recognize as oh, oh yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. that's the place. Um, I don't know if, if if people here in Warsaw have traveled to Seattle or not, but this is a good way to go. <laughs> and travel, less Let's see, yeah, see. money. It's yeah. a good uh, okay. time, not time machine. What do you call it? Like a, it's a way to go on holiday through your television to a place you've never been. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you tell us about the difference between uh, Infamous Second Son and previous parts? Uh, aside from the character and the story, I mean, new gameplay, mechanic, and events. So oh, right. Can you tell us about So one of the things I'm really proud about in Second Son that we've never done before is mm -hmm. facial motion capture. Mm -hmm. We went into the mocap studio, and when the actors do subtle things during their performances, uh, we can finally capture that all and give it to the player directly so that it, it you feel the reality of how these people, you know, kind of interact. Mm -hmm. And it draws you into the game. It makes it feel more real. I'm also very, very proud of the way we've uh, changed the controls of the game to make comboing your powers much easier. Um, and that, it really speaks to what I think is the, the, the point of playing the game in the first place, which is just reveling in your powers. Uh, I would like to ask about the stage of creating new character. Uh, Cole is uh, some kind of normal guy. Uh, he, he doesn't even look like a typical superhero. I, um, I think he looks like uh, uh, like mechanic or, or some kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you know? Jason Statham. Uh, <laughs> yes, Jason Statham. <laughs> and, and, now, and now uh, Delsin uh, is much younger and he, he's so trendy trendy guy and uh, I want to know, uh, did you design him uh, to attract the attention of girls, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hadn't thought of that. Um, Delson is uh, a combination of a lot of things. Um, the way that he dresses is actually how a lot of people in the studio dress. Oh. We live in Seattle, it's very wet, and, you know, it's cold, so you want to wear a hat and a jacket. Um, but that's just how people in our city look. Um, and also, uh, a lot of his personality comes from the actor, Troy Baker, who we cast for the role, and whose face you know, we scanned uh, and changed, admittedly, for the game, but that's, that's his kind of punk rock attitude shining through. Yeah. Uh, there's in control smoke and neons and other superpowers. Uh, they are uh, very unique. And uh, I want to know uh, is this one of your personal dreams? Do you want to possess this kind of powers? Like, like smoke? Yeah. Um, well, when we're choosing the powers for, uh, for a hero like Delson, we wanted to find something that you haven't seen before in yeah. comic books and movies so that mm -hmm. you could get a fresh experience as, as a player. And also, the powers that he has, he needs to draw from the city around him. I mean, we all live in cities these days, right? So, what are the things that our lives are, are made up of? For instance, neon sign, you know, neon. It's everywhere. You don't think about it, but what if you could somehow harness the power of neon and viewed it as a source of, of potency? 
I mean, it just you start looking at the city in a different way. Why Neo? Why this this idea of uh, uh, full of light and and color? Totally different uh, from. Uh, Electricity. Free electricity, yes. Well, we actually we chose neon because you can see it in the world really well. You know, it, it's lit up. world really well. You know, it, it's lit up. Um, it's this, uh, what is it? Is it light? Is it gas? Is it electricity? Is it, you know, mm -hmm. people kind of don't know. It's unique. Yeah, it's unique. unique. And it also looks cool, right? Like a laser beam. Looks, yes. Looks so great. Mm. Let's use it. Uh, and it's great possibility uh, to uh, to show the power to show of, power of, of PS4. Uh, play, uh, PS4. Without question, the PlayStation 4. It's great for a lot of things. I mean, the rendering of uh, like reflective puddles on the ground, mm. weather, lighting that is is physically real. All that matters a ton. But what really, really is the point are making the superpowers look real. And cool, you know, mm -hmm. having all of these particle effects to make uh, the smoke and the neon and, and the other powers he gets mm -hmm. just stand out is is where we put a lot of our energy, and we are very proud of. What Have you been inspired uh, somehow by uh, a Chronicle movie? Have you seen this movie? Yeah. Oh. So we were actually working on Second Son, and we had set the game in Seattle mm -hmm. when uh, we saw Chronicle, and we're surprised that it mm -hmm. was also in Seattle. Mm -hmm. But as far as I'm concerned, that just means great minds think alike, because that movie was great. I yes. loved it. Yes, I, I loved mm -hmm. that it was similar to our game, really. It was everyday people mm -hmm. getting these powers, and um, they can play. Yeah, had a good time with. It. Okay, uh, but uh, this movie ends tragic. <laughs> Very tragic. <laughs> ah. Is 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 there a um, tragic moment uh, moments in, in the game? Like like Chronicle. <laughs> uh, well, Second Son's story is something that I would hope you experience for yourself. I would hate to ruin it for you by telling you okay. what happens. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly, we try to. Uh, Pack it full of emotional moments. Okay. I don't know how to say that. Mm -hmm. What is it? Like drama. Drama, yeah. It is full of the drama. Mm -hmm. God, I love Chronicles so good. Is, <laughs> I love that movie. Mm -hmm. Although, you know, they shot most of it in South Africa. South Africa? Or? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And. Um, to part of a game which you had some ideas which could not be implemented uh, due to hardware limitation and now on the PS4 they are finally possible. Yeah, one of the great advances because of the PS4, um, aside from rendering and yes. great looking powers, which is really mm -hmm. very important, is uh, we can have more um, going on in the world while you're in and outside of missions. So. Uh, we call it the ecosystem, like you're in a jungle, you know, the, the jungle ecosystem where there are yes. predators and mm -hmm. um, smaller animals. The city is alive with the DUP and uh, different um, kind of factions warring it out. And it's always happening around you and it reacts to you as well and it reacts to one another. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, in large part due to having the extra power at the PlayStation 4. So when you walk through the street, you don't think everything's happening because you showed up, right? Mm -hmm. The DUP's active whether you're there or not. Mm -hmm. Whether you're there or not. Mm -hmm. uh, can we count on a sequel? Oh, um, we don't really know what we're working on next at Sucker Punch, but right, what we are working on right now is uh, some some follow-up content mm -hmm. to Second Son that will come along in a couple months. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's some die at the end. No, dramatic <laughs> moments. <Yeah. laughs> dramatic moments, Peter. Okay. And um, last question: What is your most anticipated PS4 game for this year? Uh, uh, my most anticipated PS4 game. See, uh, Witcher. <laughs> what? Witcher Three. Is that going to be on PS4? 
Yes, yes. it's Polish yeah. great game. Is it really going to be on PS4? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well then, yes, there you go, Witcher 3. <laughs> yeah, no joke, I really like Witcher 2. Um, I didn't know it was going to be on PS4, that's terrific. Yes, yes, that's and Xbox News. One and PC also. Okay, thank you Thanks, very Steve. much. Thank you.